So in this video, I'm going to be showing you babes how to um, have a natural concealed and tone corrected under eye. Um, I feel like as we get older, we just naturally are going to have more creepiness and fine lines beneath our eyes. For somebody like me, no matter how old I ever was, because I have such a large, deep set eye, my eye socket is pretty deep set and pretty large. So no matter what, I've always had this one line right here because of how large my eyeball is. So um, I always struggled with creasing and I always had darkness around my eyes just because it's hereditary and I have allergies and children and lack of sleep so it does seem to get worse i did try to um i actually did get a round of filler under my eyes to kind of help fill in that hollowness but now i just feel like um it's a bit uneven because this side has kind of like you see how it's a little bit raised on this side and then this side is not. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. We're just going to go the natural route and accept ourselves as we are. However, I do like to look awakened and kind of lift my under eye area and just look bright and fresh. Not really a makeup wearer and they want more of a natural look. That's why I found this technique. And when I'm on the go and even if I'm like not leaving the house to work, I still like to get ready for myself. Like I just feel like a little brightening up around the eyes makes me feel like I'm really ready to take on the day. So in this video, I'm pretty much going to be sharing with you guys this one product and you don't have to necessarily use this product, but I'm really going to tell you the, the makeup mixology and kind of like the color theory behind it and what it is that's really going to help enhance and lift your darkness around your eyes. As a makeup artist, I feel like the number one thing that we try to achieve is having a natural skin-like finish. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is if you want to do a no makeup look, but just do concealer, the product that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today and um, kind of show you guys how I work with it and melt it into my skin to achieve the most natural skin-like dewy youthful finish. Okay, so the first thing you always want to make sure to do is to start with hydrating your eye area. I go in with this extra repair eye cream by Body Brown because it's really like thick and luxurious and it gives me the moisture that I really need. I don't want to depend on my products. I want to make sure that this area is nice and hydrated so as it wears throughout the day, it doesn't try to absorb the concealer. Make sure you're using your ring finger only because your ring finger is your weakest finger and you want to be delicate with that sensitive eye area. I'm also going to go in with another under eye um, moisturizer. This one is the Tarte C Wink of H2O. And make sure you get the top of your eye as well. Okay, so today I'm not actually going to be using a concealer to conceal my under eye area. A lot of times I feel like people don't have the right tone concealer or just don't know how to appropriately tone correct, which causes their eye area to look either too light, too gray undertone and ashy, or just not bright enough. Um, I love this product right here by Lancome. This is actually a peach corrector. However, it does come in the same formula as their um, Camouflage, the Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. Um, they do have a deeper color as well. So if you're a deeper undertone and you have darkness or purple around your eyes, you want to kind of look at the color wheel. Um, if you look, I do have some purplish around my eyes. I have like a purpley blue darkness around my eyes. So if we look at a color wheel, across from the color wheel is going to be orange. So orange always tone corrects purple. And um, that's why I'm going to be using this peach tone and I'm going to be using it as my concealing product. I'm really not going to go in with concealer because I want to have a really natural finish. I'm only going to be depending on this tone corrector and a lot of times you might be using concealer and you may not even need to use concealer and you just need to tone correct that area and it's really going to look natural. Another thing is, um, so this is a bit of a thicker product. So I do work with less product. So this little drop that I put right here is going to go a long way. It's nice and concentrated. You see how that looks on the back of my hand right there? So what I'm going to do is I like to work with um, two different tools around my eye. So first I'm going to add a little dot right here. Now mind you, this isn't a thick little dot. It's like a very concentrated dot. So three little dots and I'm going to do it on this eye and then let you guys um, see how this kind of fades out. And what the key with this is working with less 
and then um, adding a bit more if you need more because I want to have less product. I really just want to really depend on the tone, the undertone of this corrector to tone correct this entire eye area because if I don't want to do any foundation or anything else on my skin, I want it to kind of melt in and marry in with the rest of my skin naturally without having a line of demarcation. This is actually an It Cosmetics, the Heavenly Luxe. This is like a double headed um buffing brush so usually when i do my makeup i always i like to let this kind of sit on my skin and warm up with the natural warmth of my body temperature and then i kind of go in and start blending it out um and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this side of the brush um and i'm just going to kind of dipple it around and then i'm going to use whatever um residual product i have up above especially in this um inner corner above my um mobile lid because right in here i have a pretty deep socket and like this part of my nose is pretty narrow so it's always going to cast a shadow there so you really want to make sure you go in there and lift and brighten that up and i'm honestly really just using the stippling technique and i'm going to keep stippling around this eye i'm not going too heavy i'm really allowing the tip of the brush to do most, most of the work. So holding your brush from further away is going to allow the brush to kind of do the work for you. And even already, without this being blended in nicely, you can see the difference. This eye is lifted and it looks tone corrected and it looks like I have a whole lot of full coverage products on, but I kind of love that it's giving me that natural finish. So kind of go in there, get close to the lash line and Again, I'm kind of just stippling this. Now I'm bringing the product along the side of my nose here and dragging it down. Okay, so I like to use this tool to help distribute the product and already look at this eye compared to this eye. And then what I like to do is, if you have a really fluffy um, beauty sponge when it's dry, this one is kind of dampened, but I've allowed it to kind of air out a little bit, if that makes sense, because when this is dry, it's not um, like, this sponge right here is very um, soft, but it's already used and I haven't cleaned it and it's dry. And I feel like this is still dry version of this sponge is still softer than this one. But so I actually do enjoy working with a dry sponge if I'm doing a very, very natural look. And I know a lot of times, oops, sorry, didn't mean to do it. I know a lot of times um, people, it, it, it does give you a beautiful finish to use this because you want your sponge to be nice and wet and expanded and have absorbed so that it allows a lot of the product to stay on your skin. But because I have some lines in this area, and if you see, it's already kind of creasing, I want the sponge to kind of eliminate the product from my eye. So we, we put two moisturizers on and already I'm going to have some additional moisture from this product. So I do want the sponge to kind of remove product, but allow the color to remain deposited, if that makes sense. So now I'm just going to go in with this sponge and I'm really just going to tap in. And what this is going to do is eliminate any additional oils that we have left over from the moisturizer and any additional oils that we don't want from the product. We don't want to have any um, evidence of having product on our skin. We just want to look moisturized and natural. That's literally what we're going for. I did take some of the product off of my skin, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but I still look lifted and brightened and tone corrected. And I'm still looking seamless. Um, I don't want it to be detectable that I have this line of demarcation that my skin has product here and nowhere else. Um, again, this is just for someone who has a problem area that they want to cover and they don't want to do makeup or they're just not a makeup kind of person. So before and after. Now I'm going to do the other side and we're going to come back and I'm going to show you guys how I set this into place. So at this stage, I've allowed the color correct to kind of sit on my skin and kind of really melt into the natural warmth of my skin. And when this happens, it's always going to settle in any of my fine lines. So always, always, always before you go to set any part of your base, whether it's concealer, your complexion, you do want to go back in right before you set it and kind of blend out any of those fine lines. Because then if it stays that way, you're just going to set it into place with that line crease. So if I'm doing this eye, I'm going to blend this out one more time first, and then before I move on to the next eye, then I'm going to um, blend that one out first. 
So when it comes to setting on your eyes and you do not want to enhance your lines, um, you can use the same sponge, but I find that using this type of puff, I, I just have these in my makeup kit and I use these for my clients and just dispose of them. You can get them anywhere. But um, there's two products that I really like to use. One of them is the Laura Mercier, the translucent powder, and I also love the Janessa Myricks Beauty Translucent Powder in 01. It's just very, very finely milled and it doesn't add any color deposit. It really just sets the product, the same tone, everything that you have into place. So today that's what I'm going to be working with. And I am going to pop some into the lid. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this product into the puff. But I'm going to kind of close it and make sure that all of it taps. Like I just, I just sandwiched it over and I'm making sure it's like fully inside of this puff. That there really isn't any on the surface. Okay, because all I want to do is set this into place without, like we are not baking. This is a natural look. Baking is for a lot of layers, it's for more coverage, it's for more brightness. So then I'm going to kind of turn this, literally how I do it. And then I'm going to push into my skin lightly. And that is going to just set what I need it to set into place because I always have that line beneath my eye even when I would set it the natural warmth of my skin kind of laying on top of each other is going to warm up the product and it will settle in but this way I'm just setting into place still having that really natural finish this here same thing on this side right before I set into place I kind of want to go in and smooth out any lines can you see the lines right there? I know you can see them. So I want to kind of buff that out. Okay. Same puff. And we're just going to tap every day. You know, I just woke up like this. <laughs> I'm well rested. I'm just looking like my own skin, like at this stage. Now, if you want to do more coverage, you can absolutely tone correct and then go in with your concealer. Do the same exact steps that I did if you want more of a full coverage. I'll show that in a different video. This one is just going to show you guys how to tone correct and how to use tone correctors instead of using a concealer on a natural day. It's looking exactly how I wanted it to look. Like I can literally just, what I would do is, obviously I would have put my um, facial SPF on, but I put my, my daily moisturizer on or whatever. And I would just do like a cream blush, a little cream rouge and some highlighter and then allow that to just be dewy. I wouldn't set the rest of my face. So this is how it's looking, extremely natural. It is not detectable. And mind you, I still have not put anything on my skin. Um, this is just my moisturizer and what I had underneath my eyes. Now, if we hadn't went in and moisturized, it would look a little bit drier. That's why it's important um, to make sure that you're nourishing and hydrating the areas. So to kind of like bring my skin back to its skin like finish, I'm going to use a facial mist. You can also use whatever you want. I kind of love this Kat Von D Lock It um, makeup setting mist. I love the setting, the mister on this. And I do love the actual formula of the product. I don't even know if you can get this anymore. I don't even know if Kat Von D still produces the same things because I know she sold the company. But this is how I looked before I add the setting mist. And then now look at the way this braids. It's such a light mist, and I literally just love it. And I do kind of like to press it into any areas that I can't kind of get into. I would literally just do some mascara, honey, and you are ready for this. This is how it looks with the lights and now I'm going to step out of the light and show you guys how it looks without all these studio lights. This is how it looks without the studio lights. You can still see my freckles. It still looks very skin like around my eyes. You can also see my freckles around here and around my eyes, but my eye area does look more awakened. You can still see some darkness, but because the rest of my face has the freckles and different tones it kind of still works if that makes sense but yeah hope you enjoyed this video 
Definitely gonna be doing more full coverage things as well, but I thought that this is a really great tip for like when you're in the house, girl, because there are days where even if I don't leave the house, I literally do this and it makes me feel better. So, because I get ready for me. And you should do the same.